Tiny! Uh, you know those bolts? Uh, not now, Elvis. What happened? That's what I was trying to tell you. I made the bolts fall out. I'm so sorry, Penny. It's all my fault. That's okay, Elvis. It's my fault too. I should have listened to you. Looks like Penny and Elvis might be in trouble. Tom, we're going to need the helicopter. Done, Elvis. But what are we going to do now? Without those bolts, we'll never be able to fix the motor. What, Sam? Looking for these? Oh, thank you, Sam. I'm sorry I got it all wrong. I tried to take your advice and stay calm, but the bolts came out. Whoa, and... whoa, whoa, slow down, Elvis. Right now, Mandy's lost at sea, and she needs our help. You're right, Sam. I really need to stay cool and calm now. All fixed. Now let's save Mandy. Well done, Elvis. A nice bit of fixing. Ahoy, Sam! It's Mandy, and her mast is made out of driftwood. Brilliant. Clever girl. Need any help? Thank you, Mandy, but Sam already... I think we should let Mandy save the day, eh, Penny? Oh, I mean, yes, Mandy, that would be wonderful. Lead us home, Captain Mandy. It must be huge! Uh, Dillis, I think Elvis and Norman need a hand. Can you come and take the tiller? Of course, Charlie. Anything to help my Norman catch his fish. Just hold her steady. This is going to be the biggest fish ever caught in Ponty Pandy. And my little darling will be famous. Whoa! <laughs> There's a hole. I think we must have hit a rock. Oh, you're right, Penny. We'd better all get into Neptune and fast. Where is Neptune? Over there! Elvis, grab that bucket and start scooping out the water. I'll radio for help. Oh, no. Light a flare, Charlie. Sir, not as busy as we thought today after all. No, sir. We've even got time for a nice cup of tea. <coughs> oh, well, looks like I spoke too soon. Oh, more trouble on Charlie's boat, and Neptune's drifted off. Oh, I say. Sam, take Mercury and the pump to the quay, and I'll radio Tom Thomas to meet you there with the helicopter. Yes, sir. Oh, I knew Norman Price at sea would mean a busy day. Are we going to sink, ma'am? No, Norman. Bam and Sam will rescue us. <gasps> it wasn't me! Penny! Elvis, start pumping the water out of the boat. I'll go and get Neptune. Hello, Sam. Thank goodness you came when you did. I'm just glad you're all okay. All aboard? Come on, Mandy. You first. You next, Norman. Then you, Dillis. 
Penny, your turn. Elvis, can you keep pumping until we reach the key? Aye, aye, Captain. Station Officer Steele, everybody is safe and we're heading in now. I'll help you tidy up, Elvis. Let's start with the freezer. right -o. Come on, Elvis. Sunflower seeds. Guinea pigs love them. I shall sprinkle them upon the floor and the little fellow will come and eat them. <laughs> oh, yes! I bet Norris loves sunflower seeds. Norris? That's my name. What? Anyway, let's get on with it. I scatter the seeds and... Oh, there he is! And I haven't even scattered them yet. No, sir. The guinea pig's frightened. Look! The cellar! It's on fire! I'll call Penny. Everyone out of the cafe! A fire at the whole fish cafe! And a guinea pig's lost somewhere inside. Oh. We'll save you, Norris! Norris? Why does everyone keep using my name? It's that guinea pig that needs saving, not me! Ah. It's time to use some equipment properly, Elvis. Let's find the source of the fire, Penny. There. We need to work together on this. How do you think those boxes caught fire, Sam? Ah. Right. Turn the power off at the mains. Power off, Sam. But what are we going to do? We still haven't found Norris. Norris, eh? There you are, little Norris. <laughs> What's the meaning of this, Gridlington? Uh, um, I'm sorry we called a guinea pig after you. For goodness sake, Gridlington! I'm not worried about that. I'm extremely fond of guinea pigs. <laughs> no! I'm worried about you fooling about with fire station equipment. Sorry, Station Officer Steel. If you just scattered a few seeds, poor little Norris Morrissey wouldn't have started hungrily chewing at the wires. I suppose not, sir. It's good the little fellow warned us about the fire by squeaking, hey? No wonder he's called Norris, a firefighter by name and by nature. Don't worry, Elvis. I think you're a brilliant firefighter. So do I. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, you never know. One day I might be even as brilliant as firefighter Norris. <laughs> oh, Norris, you were a handsome little devil, aren't you? It looks like the only way is up. I've got it, Sam. I've got it. What about the time you rescued Dolly from the training tower? But that was just a practice, Elvis. Nothing brave about that. Firefighter Morris! <gasps> I've just read the bit where Moose climbed Ice Mountain with three toothpicks in a bottle top. Burn! And he did it all by himself. I know. What a brave, brave chap. If only I could remember some of Sam's really brave rescues. Oh, dear. I really wish I hadn't done this. What am I going to do? Oh, oh, ah! 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 Whoa, that was a close one, eh? Thank you, Moose. I was in real danger then. I think we still are, Mandy. What? Well, I could climb down from here no problem. But it would be too dangerous to take you as well. Oh, no! Well, it's time to go. I wonder where Mandy's got to. Mandy? Mandy Flood! Uh, she said she wanted to climb Ponty Pandy Mountain, Mrs. Chen. <gasps> Maybe she's gone up there. Oh dear. I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll head back to Ponty Pandy to pick him up. <laughs> Mandy Flood is missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. <laughs> Mandy Flood is missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Missing 
Watch out on Ponty Pandy Mountain Top! Roger that. We'll have you down in no time. I found them on the north face, Tom. I'm on my way. Lower the double harness, Tom. See you at the bottom, Sam. What the Grizzlies is going on? Wait! Fixed. The, the jetty's not fixed! Oh, yeah. We're floating. <gasps> Towards the monster! Oh, dear. Did you hear that? The monster's underneath us. Oh, Trevor! Oops, steady. Oh, Sarah, is that what the monster sounded like? I, uh, uh, I, uh... See? Sarah's putrefied! She knows the sounds of the monster. James! <gasps> oh, no! There's a radio transmitter inside the center. Call Fireman Sam. OK, everyone, try to stay calm. Fireman Sam will be here in no time. Stranded in the middle of the lake with a ponty pandiness monster lurking below? <gasps> A group of Ponty Pandy citizens are stranded in the middle of the lake with the monster on the loose. I needed to tie the other end of this rope to the floating jetty. OK, Sam. Don't worry, everyone. Fireman Sam will tow you back to the shore. Mercury's not powerful enough. Jetty from moving. Elvis, hold on to this. I'm going underwater. <gasps> no, no, no! Don't be fish food! Ready, Sam! Moose isn't the only one who knows about survival. We've run out of things to burn. We need to keep warm until help comes. I'll see what else is on the bus. Uh, here you go, Trevor. Burn this. Oh, thanks, Norman. Ah! The bus! We're on a lake. And the fire has made the ice crack. Get back, everyone! Get back! My precious picture of Norman was on that bus. Now we have nowhere to shelter and no fire. If Moose doesn't get help soon, we're in big trouble. Emergency! A uh, bus has gone off the road and we need help for fast. Great tangled hoses! Trevor's bus has gone off the road! 
Very soon. Listen, they're coming! It's Fireman Sam! Elvis, make sure everyone is a safe distance away. Penny, you'll be ready in Jupiter. Everybody stand back. Activating winch. Penny! You might need to back up to help the winch. Right you are, Sam. Yay! They've done it! Now, let's get some tea on and make sure everybody's nice and warm. Trevor, you saved it. Eh? Save what? My lovely picture. You knew how precious it was to me. Oh, Trevor, you were a real hero. I'd hate it to lose this. It's Norman as a baby with no clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, Moose, well done for going out in that blizzard to fetch help. That was very plucky. Hey, what can I say, Trevor? Plucky is my middle name. Nearly there. Uh, Elvis! Penny! Come and see this! Ooh, that's lovely, Sam. Mm, I love the smell of a roaring fire. Fire. Uh, uh, oh, no. Uh, 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 no! <laughs> oh. ah, sorry, Sam. Stay still, Norman! I want to throw a snowball at you! Why would I stay still if I'm going to be hit by a snowball? <laughs> you can't get me inside! <laughs> Uh-oh. <gasps> I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. There we go, all up and running. This place will be as warm as toast in no time. <laughs> Excellent work, Mike. Ooh, an emergency. A fire at the flood's house. Oh, there's a fire at the Flood's house. Oh, the fire at the Flood's house. Wait a minute, that's where I live. Wait for me. As long as you're all right. Shut the gas off, Elvis. What happened? What were you cooking? Um, Norman's mum's scarf. Oh, I think it might be a bit overdone. I'm in such a lot of trouble. No change there, then, Norman. What are you lot staring at? Surprise! Oh, what on earth? You're our one millionth customer, Dillis. And here's a big surprise for you. Oh, that is a surprise. A great big cake. Oh, if only my Norman could see this. Norman, jump out of the cake. I can't get out. I thought I just heard my Norman's voice. You did! He's in the cake! You baked my Norman in a cake? Oh! No! I made the cake out of wood! What? Oh. It was supposed to be a... Oh! Oh, forget it. It's stuck. Let me out! Dillis, wake up! Oh, sniff this! Shall I pop the party poppers now? 
I smell smoke. <laughs> so do I. Oh, no! I forgot to turn off the oil. Evacuate! Quick, everyone! Head for the door! Abandon cake! I'll call Fireman Sam. What's going on? Oh, no! My Norman's stuck in that cake. Don't worry, Dillis. I'll push the cake out. Right, we will now demonstrate the procedure for extricating someone's foot from half a bucket of muscles. You ready, Norris? I certainly am. Excellent. Um, I, I, I actually can't get this off. A fire at the Whole Fish Cafe and Norman Price is trapped in a giant cake? A fire at the Whole Fish Cafe, and Norman Price is trapped inside a giant cake! My Norman! My poor Norman! Mike's still in there trying to get Norman out! Stand back, everybody! It's no good! I can't get him out! Stand back, Mike. I'll do it. 